Hello there. This is Game and Thoughts and Opinions. We talk about games and our thoughts and our opinions. And this uh, week, we are not doing victories and vengeances because Sam has no life. Yeah. And my life is pretty bad. So that's basically what we're going to talk about. We're going to focus on the bad. Um, this week, I had one of my depressing moods, moods again. And I was just thinking, how can I improve myself? Because I'm so worthless. So I Googled. Because this is the ultimate goal in life, is to get married and have kids. So I Googled, what does a woman look for in a man? Obviously, I'm a heterosexual male. This could be different for you. Might be different for Sam as well. No. Uh, so I Googled this, and I got, I read multiple articles on what women like in men. Um, I guess it could be what they like in what, whoever likes in whoever, because I don't think that matters. Um, anyways, so I, I jotted down a couple of things, like 11. And we're going to test ourselves to see how many things that we have or that, that we think we have. So, first thing is independence. Would you say you have independence? No, not at all. Why? I can't do anything for myself. You can't cook? I, well, I can cook, but that's... I can barely take care of myself. How so? Like, I get distracted real easily. I can't do laundry. I can't... You don't... Is that, I don't know how to do taxes. I mean, I still require, don't worry about I those. I still require my parents to, like, order food for me. I, I can order food for myself. Mm-hmm. But dealing with people is, is, is a tough thing. Mm-hmm. I would say I'm independent because I do a lot of things also. Like, if I need really need how to, like, I don't think I need to do tax. I just hire somebody. Like, Joe Black Income Tax. He could do it. He probably Joe's still have my income tax, though. though like, but <laughs> that's what happens when the, the income tax bill doubles as a, um, as a karate a studio, so... <laughs> yeah, anyways, I, I would say I'm independent because I can cook, I can clean. I, can, I know how to do laundry, just that I don't do laundry because I don't have a car, so and I don't have a, a whatever it's called. Washing machine? Yes, that thing. There you go. Um, I used to, I remember when I was in elementary school, I used to wash my uniform in the bathtub because uh, she was like, we can't just keep washing clothes every day. I'm like, well... This smells terrible because I'm a musty sixth grader that doesn't know what deodorant is. I have to wash it in a dirty t- tub that I just uh, spent wiping all my dirt off. Like, I That's what Febreze is for, Mark. I didn't know about that. I was very dumb in sixth grade. Tough time. We'll get in that later. Anyways, yeah. that's a story for another day, I guess. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I can do most things on my side. I just, I just don't because I don't have to. Like, why would I? I'm a kid. I mean, I'm sure if, if I had to, I could probably make a living for myself, but right now I, I have McDonald's, here we come. I haven't Burger shown King. any. This uh, video is not sponsored by Burger King. I just like their crowns. Anyways. It's like a fully grown man. That's what women look for in, in men, is a Burger King crown. Be humorous. You think you're humorous? I can be, yeah. I can be. No, it's, it's yes or no? Yes. Okay. I don't want to, there's no really need to explain yourself. I think I'm humorous. I mean, sometimes. I mean, <laughs> like the the early half of this week, this is when this happened. I was like super depressed. And then I'll turn, turn to yesterday. Well, I guess for the first four days, I was super depressed thinking about this. I'm like, man, I'm not funny. I'm not that attractive. I'm not anything. Why does, like, why is everyone that I know, hey, don't agree with this. <laughs> why is everyone around me that I know so much better, so much talented? I think I have people that, that are in the drama club and they're acting out people doing all like in sports doing their thing all these people doing a lot of uh, like using their talents um funny thing about that is people in the drama club most of them can't even act to begin with so leave that alone. of course not they're high schoolers i mean don says he just he was a walk-on he was a, a equivalent of a walk-on athlete in college he, he's a great actor i mean for a high school kid um anyways i was just thinking about that because i I talked to him the most out of anyone at school, and he's like, man, he's on a basketball team, he's acting, he can even sing a little bit, like, I'm envious, and he got voted the best personality, I'm like, what am I doing, like, you got these two friends, and only one of them is worth a damn. Wow. You only have two friends? No, I'm talking between, no, between oh, those between two friends. Oh, between the fr- two of you? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I wonder how people think on the outside of our relationship. You and Dantes, or you and me? You and me, me and Dantes. <laughs> okay. I, don't, I think everyone pretty much forgot you. I mean, I yeah, think, that that hurt. I mean, that's so. I have a bit of a problem with how something was handled this week, but you can. 
Oh, go, go ahead. I mean, I'm done. I, I think I'm humorous. Yeah, I think I'm a humorous, too. I just need the right setup, you know? It doesn't show here, but... It I, should. I've this cracked... Is, this is the pl one place it should. I've cracked some jokes with friends, you know, give me the right setup, but... A lot of rape jokes? No. Oh. A fair amount, but not a lot. <laughs> um, you know how y'all had bricks that you were writing on? You, like, wrote on bricks oh, at yeah. that lunch or something? Bullshit. People wrote names of students that don't go to school anymore. Uh, my friend Henry wrote my name on a brick, but they erased all of those names with no explanation. Or the only explanation being they don't go here anymore. Students? Yeah. Assholes. Yeah. Um, I mean... I gave Franklin the best years of my life. This all y'all were paying me? Those are the best years oh. of your life? <laughs> God. So, so far. <laughs> Let's hope so far. Well, I didn't even write on a brick. I wrote on the senior steps, like, in, like, really dumb... Ooh, that's not good. I don't care. Like, Fair it was enough. the equivalent of Comic Sans. Uh, it said Mark Anthony was here. They probably, like, hosed it off or erased yeah. it by now, but I, mean, I don't give a shit about anything. So, I don't really care. I don't even get the point of that. It's to leave your mark, but, you know, if you can't leave your mark by remembering your dead friends, then, then what's the point? Uh, I think I left my mark in the grade point average and... Um, <laughs> Uh, I think that speaks for itself. We won't get into that. Anyways, so we say we're humorous. Yeah. So we got, we got I got two. You got one. Uh, the next thing is the physique. No. Do, you, do you have the physique, no. Sam? Well, I mean, I'm a well-rounded individual in the belly area. Oh, God. I thought you were about to go somewhere with that, but no. no. Sorry, Sam. I don't think I have the physique either. Um. Yeah, I just don't. So it's something I work on every time, every every day. So, okay, I'm at two. Next thing, fashion. Do you have passion for fashion, Sam? I don't have a passion for fashion, but I think I dress pretty well. With your drawn-on tie t-shirt. <laughs> I mean, it's okay. It's fine. I could look worse. That's definitely, definitely true. Um, that's not the barometer here. The, a person doesn't marry you say, well, I guess he could be, like, uh, in jail for murder. But, you know, he's pretty clean. I mean, he only does cocaine every other weekend. I don't do cocaine ever, but I mean, don't I mean you can't you can't see the future. Somebody asked me today, <laughs> somebody on yesterday, two days ago, who cares? Somebody asked me, uh, would you ever make out with another man in LSU? And like, I don't know why would you ask that. Like, I have that exact same face. I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna roll with it because I'm humorous. I'm gonna roll with it. And I'm like, well, you know, I can't see into the future. You know, I never know. You know, why I might get roofy one of these days, or I might be a little bit little too drunk. Or I wake up, I wake up with a, a man right next to me. I'm like, well, it's the Henny, man. It's the Henny. And that was that. Um, I think I kind of sort of check out the fashion box. I never wear, I barely wear t-shirts. Like it's mostly collared shirts like this, uh, no buttons, so you see all my nasty chest hair. Or I'm wearing a a button-up t-shirt, uh, which I don't like button-up t-shirts. And that fun guy t-shirt you wear quite often. I don't wear that anymore. Because there's like a hole in the armpit, Ooh. and there's like, okay. it doesn't fit because like 3XL, and it's big and brown, so it's not flattering to the body at all. <laughs> like, it makes you like, putting on this shirt will make you gain 50 pounds. I don't know how it works, it's magic. Um, anyways, I think I got that, so I got three. You still have one? Or you got two? Ah, uh, two. Okay. Clean, in terms of hygiene. Mm, I don't know. What do you mean, I don't know? I mean, like, I shower every day and I clean myself. What about teeth? My dental hygiene is not where it should be. I only have one cavity, though. And I got, like, two. Because I used to eat a lot of candy as a child. I love me some M&M's. Um, I don't brush my, my teeth vigorously every day. Until your gums bleeding like me? Not my gums bleed for other reasons. Oh, because you don't brush them enough. <laughs> Probably not, no. That's something I could work on. Well, I'm not giving you one for that, so you still have two, buddy. Fair enough. Um, I brush my teeth uh, one to three times a day um, because I'm scared. Because braces, I've been having these braces since I was in third grade, so they stink. They smell like t complete garbage. Like, if you dive head first into the sewer, that's what this smells like. I'm just like, it's, it's a full-time job trying to not smell like uh, I ate out the trash. Um... So I, I remember one time like the 
it's like a the actual brace itself that holds the wire that connects to all these little brackets. It's in the back and all my molars. And I ate an apple one that is bit into it and it just fell out and I just pulled it off. I smelled it. I'm like, God. So why like, would you smell it? That's what you do with everything. You th- I mean, like, you know, people. No, I mean, I smell things. I smell a lot of things that most people wouldn't, but not food that I just pulled out of my mouth. It wasn't food, it was the, the metal itself. Oh. Okay. So I'm like, okay, this is going to be a pretty good barometer how mm-hmm. good my breath smells this whole time. Complete pure shit. <laughs> Pureed. It smelled terrible. I'm like, how does no one tell me this? Unless they can't smell it. Because it is pretty deep in my mouth. Maybe just saying, hey, Mark, your breath smells like shoot. I'm like, jeez. That would not. I'm like, polite. can somebody please tell me this? And ever since I smelled that, I'm like, I got to I gotta bump up one time a day to three times a day. Because this is not okay. And these are not coming out anytime soon because my teeth aren't straight and the brackets are not even on. I mean, the, the wire is not even. Your teeth look pretty straight. Yeah, but my mom said otherwise. Um, I don't, I'm not a dentist. I don't know. It's an orthodontist that works on braces. Like I care about you or your feelings. But I think I'm pretty clean. I mean, my face has been, been getting better. Um, I haven't I, taken acne medication. Oh, you have? Yeah. I couldn't really tell that you had bad acne. You seem like a pretty normal teenager to me. I don't know. This... I know it's not actually dirty, but it just feels disgusting. I want it all off. I hate this. I love my goatee. Now, I don't have anything up here. It's completely bald. And then you got neck beard. Sure, just get it off. Anyways, I think I'm clean for the most part. Um, do I smell good? I don't smell bad. And by Sam's standards, I deserve that point. So I have four, I think. Okay. Yeah, I got three. I, I don't smell bad. Okay, optimism. Are you an optimist? I can be. Come on, stop. It's a yes or no thing. It's a yes or no thing. I don't know. Like, I'm optimistic about some things. A realist about others. But in general, it's about life. A realist. A realist. So no, not optimistic. I don't like how... Why wouldn't you want a realistic person in your life? Like, why would you look for somebody that's optimist, like optimistic? I mean, it's okay to look positive, but that's like blind. Like, that seems kind of like blind to me. Yeah, blind optimism is not, it's not a positive trait for me. I don't think it's a positive trait for anyone. Anyway, well, Some people like that happy-go-lucky, always happy. That's kid shit to me. That's not a person you're trying to marry. Wow. <laughs> um, anyways, I would not give myself that. I mean, I, I look, I never say anything pessimistic or outwardly optimistic. I'm just like, I'm going to kind of go with the flow type of guy. So, I mean, I got one, two, three, I got four. I try and look at the bright side Five. more often than most people. Like with Trump, he's not a good president, but to just treat him like he's Satan rolled up with with Hitler all the time. He, I mean, he's done some positive things as president. You're probably, right. Probably. He's not just that. He's Hitler, Satan, Stalin, Mao, um, Genghis Khan, rolled up... Um, on his mayonnaise and French bread, and that's him. And it's pretty. I, how do you feel about him? Like I, don't, I was realistic. I think I'm realistic in saying that it doesn't matter because the president doesn't have, like, when he's an unpopular president, he doesn't have mo- that much power. I mean, my my day to day life hasn't changed since he got elected. Well, so. you're one of the people that are in his demographic, so to speak. I mean, mine hasn't changed either because. There you go. The power, the way you get power in the society is by money. And everything else is, it just, uh, is an offshoot. And so at some points, you're rationalizing a reason why you don't have power. And it's, it's not, it's not necessarily because you're black or that you're a woman. It has a lot to do about your, uh, your marketability and how much money you can earn and yeah. you earn now. Anyways, how was that? Optimism. Um, what we just finished? Pretty realist. Okay, I'm, I got five, I think. Communication. Communication rules the nation, I can tell. I write... I write my feelings in this... Fuck, I messed up the quote. It was a Drake quote. It was a Drake quote. But anyway, communication is very uh, important in relationships. Yeah, it is. Do you have very good communication skills? Yeah, I can usually get my point across. Most of the time, I get my point across pretty well. What do you mean? Like, unless it gets to something highbrow. Like, not highbrow, but like... 
politics and stuff, when I'm getting into like a real debate over something that I shouldn't be debating on the internet, I'm, I mix stuff up, but I don't understand. interpersonal communication is where, I, is where I'm good. Okay. I was testing you there. Okay, did a good job. Thank um, you. Uh, communication, I think, I'm fine. I don't have nothing to compare it to, so I give myself a five and a half. Uh, be open. Oh, well, well, this means this is what I put down. Cause I forgot my head it means something, but to most people it doesn't mean anything. Be open means basically be uh, open to any conversation, open to any person. Don't judge them just yeah. on on just a couple dumb things they said or even how they look. So that's basically the example with the guy asking me, uh, "Would you ever make out with a guy? Make out with a guy in LSU?" I just rode with it. I'm not just gonna. I could easily make this awkward, make both of us look dumb in front of class. Because, m- mind you, all the embarrassing... In cl- front of class? It wasn't in front of, but we're the only two people talking in class, and my voice travels, and, he, and he's loud. And okay. I'm, I'm like, oh my fucking God, this could be really awkward. This could, I could salvage this. So I did, and I'd be open to that stuff. And that person in particular, he tells a lot of bad jokes, and I just have to roll with him. And that sucks. Anyways, I think I'm pretty... Open to people. Yeah, I'm open to people and ideas. Mm, ideas. Yeah. Am I open to ideas? I mean, all the people are like, go punch a Nazi. No, don't go punch a Nazi unless the Nazi's punching you. Unless he's gassing you. I would I would have a, an honest conversation with a Nazi or a member of the alt-right. I would try and have the best conversation I could with why they think what they think. I would talk with a Nazi, but, you know, they don't kind of... I'll let you talk to them for me. Um, for certain reasons. Um, neo Nazis, I should say. Yeah, neo Nazis. Because the actual Nazi party is, is dead. Yeah, and they like I thought I'm willing to say most people that fought for Nazism, like most of them don't even believe that shit. They just didn't want to die. Um, shout out to all those uh German show- soldiers. Just following orders and all that yeah. jazz. Sucks. Anyways, uh, what was that? Being open, yeah, I think. I think I'm open, so I give myself yeah. a six and a half. I got five. Be selective. I don't know what that means. Selective in what I say? What you say, what you do, who you hang out with, where you spend your time, where you spend your money. What you say, who you do, yeah. Um, so I think I'm selective. I never say, like, I think what the article said, one article that I read, is being selective in, like, don't try to talk about everything. Like, if you know you're not an expert about Dungeons and Dragons, Mark, don't try to talk about it. So I didn't. So I'm just like, hey, I'm a nerd too, but I'm not that much of a nerd, so I'm going to stop. Okay. Um, um, so, or like, I know a lot about Pokemon. I know a lot about football and basketball. And like, sometimes, most people do not know about those things and like, in depth, like, how basketball and football really work. And this angers me, so I don't I end up not talking because I just get angry. So, I mean, you, like, if you... If you feel like you can't, if you have very strong feelings and you feel like you can't articulate them in that moment, you probably should select no as the option not to talk. Um, so I think I got that. I got seven and a half. I don't know. I, it's kind of hard to be open and be selective. Like to be open to everything, but then to choose not to talk about some things. No, be open in who you take in, but be selective in what you put out. I think that's what it means. Yeah, I'd say that. That applies to me. Okay. Exude passion. Whatever you do, you have great no. passion. You're playing basketball. You're playing hard. You're cursing. You're yelling at people for bank and taking bad shots. You're you're playing video games and you're cussing because you just uh, died to a level nine computer. Um, I mean, I get really passionate about like comic books and stuff, but that passion doesn't spill over into anything else in my life. What do I get passionate about? I'm not really passionate about anything, like when, like when I'm outside of it, but when I start getting into something, I guess I kind of care. Like, I don't care about basketball anymore. Whenever I play it, I just like, I like yelling and cursing, because I feel like sports is an outlet for me to just get rid of all my ang- all my strong feelings. Mm-hmm. So I'm just like, just yelling all the time. Each time it's a, a shot, I'm just yelling at the top of my lungs. <laughs> it's actually like, I probably should stop that, because I feel like... I'm making a scene whenever I'm at, whenever I'm in PE, so yeah, I am passionate, I'm passionate, but cool. maybe it's not good. 8.5, we got two left. Seven. We got, no, we got one left. I'm 7.5? No, I'm at a 7. 
Okay, eight point five. Got one left. No matter what. No, 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 no. Skip we got it. two left. Got two left. Work ethic. Do you have the work ethic no. to be a champion? No. Unless I'm passionate about it. Mm -hmm. But since my passion is very one-dimensional, very myopic, I don't have. I don't have the work ethic. Good work ethic. I'm mm. not saying with me. I cannot. Like they they blame it on a senior writers. I just blame it like. No, by the time no, you're a I'm senior, just depressed. Well, that too. By the time you're a senior, you probably realize that all this is bullshit, and you really don't like you don't care about any of it. I guess nothing to do with you having the title of senior. Like you could be like I got it. I had senior right as junior year. I had a sophomore year, and that's like yeah, every time I research paper, I'm like, all right, it's doing two months. I'll do it the day of. That's just life as a Franklin student. Probably life as a high school student in general. Yeah. Um, so I mean, I work that thing when it comes to things I really care about, and I'll just leave it at that. I got a 9.5, we got one left. Uh, no matter what, be confident. Would you say that you're, you're confident or do that you, or you exude confidence? No, not no matter what. Mm. I am afraid of pretty much all social interaction. See this right here? Confidence. You need confidence to pull this off. Or ignorance. No, no buttons. No button up those buttons with no undershirt. Confidence. Confidence, baby. Confidence. Um, so I think, I don't know if I exude confidence. I think I exude, like, when I'm, when I'm in class, I'm really jittery. Because I think uh, playing all the video games gave me a huge D. So. That's not how that works. I think that's how it works. I don't think it is. I read a book. I mean, I had nothing to do about that. <laughs> I've read a book, too. <laughs> I had nothing to do about that, but definitely read it. Robinson Crusoe is a great book. Robinson Crusoe? Robinson Crusoe. Robinson? Robinson. Ro Caruso. Okay. Crusoe. Ca no, it's C-R-U-E-S-O-E. -E. Okay. I, we're talking about two completely different books then. I'm talking about the one with the guy, like he's a, he was a... He was like trapped on an island? Yeah, yeah, he was trapped yeah, on an Robinson island. Robinson Caruso. Jesus Christ. Now my book is spelled... Mark, you stupid. I'm not stupid. Well, that's nothing to do with this, though. <laughs> Defend yourself better, man. C R well, C R U. Anyway. E. How's that Caruso? Anyways. No, that's it. I got a what, 10.5 out of what? 1.1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I got 10.5 out of 13. That's like a... I'm gonna put the calculator right quick. I got like an 8 out of 13. 10.5 divided by 13 is 80. That's what I am. I'm a C student, even in life. And Sam, you are an F student. It looks like a 61. Good wow, job. That hurts. I mean, you can always improve. No, I mean, you, you could go down. Is a myth. Hmm. Yeah, you're stuck where you are. Are you sure about that? What yeah. do you mean? Okay. No, I don't believe in determinism. I don't believe in having any beliefs. Everything is based in facts. You're right. It's Robinson Crusoe. I don't know why I thought it was Caruso. Do you might be thinking of an actor with Glassman Caruso. Nope. Uh, I specifically remember Robinson Caruso being a book in my old English class. I mean, that might be a book. It's, it, I can't find anything. Okay. Anyway. I think that's all for us. We are... For now. For now. For now. Anything, you said you wanted to talk about something that happened this week. I think we already did. Okay. About the Franklin, uh... All the blocks. The bricks, yeah. I hate that. Anyways, I think that's all for me. Well, we're gonna have, we're gonna play Lisa again. We're gonna play Pokemon Emerald again. And we're not gonna play Mother because I can't grind. Because I couldn't. So, that, that's, I'll wait. Anyways, we'll see you later. Oh,